Hi and welcome back to our Photoshop lessons with VIPTutorials.com. Uh, in this particular uh, video, I'm going to talk about uh, retouching a digital photo or digital portrait. This is one of the uh, photographs I grabbed from uh, Stock Exchange. Um, and uh, in this particular uh, uh, video, I'm going to actually focus on very basic techniques such as using just a brush tool and different colorizing modes in order to really increase. Um, uh, the way that photo presents itself. So let's let's get started. Um, go ahead, change your tool to uh, just a regular brush tool. And since the model is against sort of a, a grainy, uh, brownish, dark uh, uh, background, we're gonna we're gonna stick to that uh, that mode of colorization. So let's let's just pick some something really into a brown spectrum. Just click OK, and uh, I'm gonna use a uh, just for the starters color burn. Um, what that's going to do, it's going to actually use that really dark brown color to uh, sort of burn that into the image um, wherever I press press the uh, the brush onto. So I'm going to actually colorize the hair of that model. So let's let's just go ahead and get started. And simple strokes. Make sure you you complete your strokes and you follow the pattern or the curves of the of the hair that you're working with. Um, that is really important. That that will show up later on um, in the image, and if you don't follow, if you really uh, don't follow the, these uh, these patterns, um, that will be become a problem later on. It's it's not going to look uh, natural. Um, obviously, the photo is is going to be retouched and so on and so forth. But uh, we want to make sure that uh, we get as close as possible to getting some really cool. Uh, digital effect in here and now let's let's just go ahead and and finish painting up our hair so now we we did darken that a little bit and now let's switch the brush to something um, that's gonna lighten up some of these strands um, uh, really fast so color dodge is a great brush um, and uh, let me let me go ahead and change that <coughs> our foreground color to something sort of really light and uh, I'm going to increase the opacity of that brush to about 30%. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and highlight some of these these strands in here. And obviously, if you if you think about it, there is if you pick a source of light where that uh, where that uh, that source of light is, let's say to the side where the model is actually looking at at it right now. Um, make sure you you do sort of uh, visualize that and highlight the areas that obviously will get the most exposure that way. Um, you can just change the size of your brush simply by pressing the brackets key next to your letter P on the keyboard. Um, left bracket key decreases the size of the brush so if you have a smaller smaller strand that you need to work with um, you can just go ahead and, and decrease the size of the brush really quick that way. It's a nice, uh, nice, useful shortcut in in Photoshop. Let's go ahead and drop the opacity tiny little bit to highlight some of the uh, underexposed areas in here. And I'm going to make this image look uh, sort of surrealistic um, with a lot of a lot of highlights and so on and so forth. But um, obviously, you don't have to go into into so uh, that uh, surreal surreal look. Um, for uh, regular Photoshop uh, or studio portraits that uh, you might be taking of somebody else. Uh, so obviously your the brush uh, opacity uh, that you're going to be working with is going to be a little bit smaller. So so let's let's go ahead and finish up here. Bring these strands to life and uh, now at this point what we can do, we can just focus on the face and uh, a really useful brush for that purpose is a soft light or mode of soft light. Um, and for that particular instance make sure you do work with pretty light uh, skin tone colors. Um, just go ahead and change your foreground color to something really light and uh, I would say keep the opacity at 20, you're going to see if that's that um, helps or not. Uh, if not, you can just go ahead and bring it up to uh, a little bit higher values. And what that soft light brush is going to do is going to get rid of a lot of the uh, problematic areas, such as uh, uh, you know pimples, wrinkles, uh, freckles uh, on your on your model's uh, face. And this way, you can really um, sort of apply really broad, broad uh, brush strokes and uh, and not to be uh, too concerned about uh, 
being uh, sort of too precise when you're when you're using that brush it will it will uh, sort of blend itself into into the photograph um, at this point what I want to do is uh, focus on on uh, the size uh, or the perimeter of the face so we're gonna actually switch back to uh, color burn and uh, use some a little bit darker skin tone color and uh, obviously with color burn we want to use a opacity of about five percent maybe even lower increase the size of the brush and just with the tip of the brush just going going right across or right on the sides of the uh, of the face of the model uh, you can uh, you can really see a, a nice sort of shading effect um, developing um, and at the same time you can basically use that same brush with color burn to colorize or add some sort of a tan effect uh, to your model's face and let's just keep going with the neck area right on the bottom and obviously since uh, she's got a lot of hair on the left hand side we're just gonna drop a little bit of shadow in there so let's let's uh, change the color of that foreground color to something really dark and let's let's go ahead and bring in some shadows on the side sides sides of the face uh, I would suggest both of the sides and slightly um, in the area of the neck and where the pearls are in this case uh, obviously you depending on the photograph that you took it's it's gonna be different for everyone but um, uh, this way it's it looks more uh, sort of futuristic or um, where where it, these colors start to sort of blend in work together and so on um, now I'm gonna start working with the eyes and uh, uh, sticking to the coloration of the uh, of our hair let's go ahead press control plus on your keyboard let's zoom in a little bit um, using color uh, actually burn on the in this case uh, opacity of about I would say maybe we can bring this up to even 10 percent and now we're gonna add some digital makeup really quick um, so now I'm just gonna colorize right underneath the eye make sure you complete your strokes full strokes are the best just because this way you don't have the blotchy spotty um, areas um, and uh, let's let's go ahead and do the same thing with the other eye and now a slight addition to the bottom here and to the other eye and now at the same time we can just decrease the brush stroke and go around right at the perimeter of the eye and apply the same color sort of as a as a stencil and see how that looks and anytime you work with a uh, uh, zoomed in areas make sure you at the end uh, once you change these effects you apply some effects you zoom out um, control plus or minus on your keyboard uh, minus is for uh, to zoom in or zoom out and plus is to zoom in now let's go in and change that blending mode of that brush and let's make those eyes a little bit brighter so uh, what do we want to do we want to apply color dodge and we're gonna change that foreground color to something really really light such as white um, increase the size of the brush and let's go ahead and and click a couple of times on on the iris of the eye that's re really gonna make it stand out and bring it bring it to life um, one brush stroke through through where the eyes are um, works great uh, same with the teeth you can just basically go over the teeth once or twice that's gonna that's gonna make them a little bit brighter um, and uh, now in order to colorize the lips let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit so we work with the lips um, a little bit closer now let's switch um, the foreground color to to something really dark uh, burgundy red um, and now we're gonna use a color or linear burn actually on this one and uh, what that's gonna do that's gonna really darken um, really darken these lips and and turn them almost as if they were uh, naturally painted uh, so really quick application focus on the outside of the lips uh, uh, more um, this way it's 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 gonna be a lot easier for you to sort of get get a handle on on colorization of uh, of delicate areas um, such as such as lips and and, and around the, you know the perimeter of the of the nose and stuff like that so uh, let's let's go ahead and f finish that up and and see how that 
see how that image starts to starts to look now what we can do we can just go ahead and back into um, our history palette and take a snapshot of that and compare the um, final image with um, what we started with so this is the picture we started with and now this is the um, final image that we got after applying a couple of different brush strokes so uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial please stop by um, comment and uh, stop by at VIPTutorials.com I appreciate your time and thank you for watching